spiritual health. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. I have a question for you. If your physical health was in the same condition as your spiritual health, how healthy would you be? Is your soul healthy? Spiritual health should be number one. There is a close relationship between physical health and spiritual development. When one's physical health is impaired by disobedience to God's external laws, spiritual development will also suffer. Principle number five, the spiritual impact on family health. Five points I want to make. In my conclusion with principle five, A, fear of the Lord leads to health. B, receiving God's mercies bring saving health. C, you can recover family health. D, you can sustain family health. And E, you want unhindered prayers. So A is fear of the Lord leads to health. Proverbs 3, 7 through 8. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy neighbor and navel and marrow to thy bones. Now, what is the navel? Navel is the place where you connected to your mother in the womb. It's the unbiblical cord where we call uh, what, what we called it. Uh, when a baby is born, the biblical cord is cut. But while they're in the womb, they're receiving oxygen from their mother and they're able to exchange back carbon dioxide. And once we're born, we breathe in oxygen and we exhale carbon uh, dioxide. Also, you receive nutrients from your mother while you're in the room. So once you are born and we thank God when we fear the Lord and we depart from evil, the Lord said you will receive the life from the word. You will be able to get rid of all the things of death that sin um, brings into your life. You can fill yourself with the word, get rid of death, and our spirit, spirit is nourished by the word of God. And health, healthy marrow to thy bones and the thing about the bone marrow is bone marrow is there pretty much when you need it if you don't have enough oxygen your bone marrow will produce more red blood cells and you can breathe better if you're bleeding immediately uh your bone marrow um produce platelets that cause you to clot that place to clot and if you have an infection um your white cells will increase to help you fight the infection. So God, if you fear the Lord and depart from evil, he will design your body so that it can help itself. Number B, receiving God's mercy brings saving help. Psalm 67, 1 through 2. God, be merciful, uh, merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah. Thank God for the mercies of God. That thy way may be known upon the earth. The only way God's way can be known upon the earth is because of his mercy on the son of man. I thank God for his mercy. That thy way may be known upon earth. Thy saving health among all nations. All nations can have the saving health of God if they receive the mercies of God. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. Thank God for a compassionate God. C, recovering family health. Jeremiah 30 and 17. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seek. Now, who is Zion? And why do they call us the outcast? That's because we put God first. The things of God are the things that concern us. We believe in marriage between a man and a woman. We believe in raising godly seeds. Godly seed. We believe in not shedding innocent blood. 
and we believe in uh, crying loud and sparing not. We believe in the rod and the child. So we are considered outcasts. But God, our God, restore our health and heal our wounds because we put him first. D, sustaining family health. That can be a challenge sometimes to keep everyone healthy and everything in balance. Exodus 23 and 25 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. You notice it said bread and water, which we need both for life. Our bread, our food will taste good. The water will go down easy. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. To eat and drink and be satisfied is a blessing from God. When your family is not sick, you are blessed. The last one, eat unhindered prayers. Now, unhindered prayers is linked to marriage, to our marriage relationship. First Peter 3, 5 and 7 says, For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, we knew how to dress, being subject unto their own husbands. Verse 7, likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Saints, it's all about family. Summary for principle number five, God first. The spiritual impact of a family, fear the Lord leads to health. Receiving God mercies brings saving health. We can recover, we can sustain, and we can have unhindered prayer. So let's let go the destructive decision and choose God's way. Go forth and live safe. I pray above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. Psalm 127 and 1 says, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Don't labor in vain that the Lord build your house. Become a seafed family. God bless.